Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here. Um, just wanted to share something with you real quick. Um, this uh, thought of filters has been on my mind since Monday. And I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, past two videos. And uh, understanding that we all have a way that we see life. And the way that we see life isn't always the best because it's often shaped by our experiences, both positive and negative. Um, and sometimes we allow those negative experiences to dominate how we see life, how we view it. And that dictates what we believe. Um, it dictates how we talk. It dictates how we live. And our belief system is often what gets us in trouble or limits where we're going or takes us to a better place. It depends on how we've allowed life to shape what we believe and how we choose to see life. So if we grew up uh, rejection, uh, experienced a lot of rejection, we see the world through the lens of rejection. We'll probably talk about later. We grew up uh, with certain traumas. You can see the world through trauma and that's all you see it as uh, attacks and pain and hurt and miss all the good that's going on. And the thing I really wanna share with us this evening is that even with all those experiences, they all can be true. Uh, I want us to remember that our reality, our reality isn't always the truth. Our reality isn't always the truth. You'll hear people say, nobody loves me. And my question always is, nobody loves you? Mean nobody? And we start, I start asking, well, this person loves me. This, well, that means somebody loves you. But because you feel unloved, you assume that you have no love. Your reality isn't always the truth. So it behooves us to think about uh, is how I'm seeing the world, how I'm seeing life factual or is it simply my reality based off my experiences? I feel like nobody likes me. I'm always being rejected, always being hurt. Nothing ever works out for me. And, and pain can limit your perspective and how you see life. And we take that reality and we call it true. We call it truth when in actuality, our reality is often not the truth. It's really not what's going on. It's just how we're seeing it. So I want us to learn uh, to understand that reality is not always true, but also to understand that, watch this, your feelings are meant to be honored, but they shouldn't be believed all the time. Our feelings should be honored, but they shouldn't be believed all the time because there are times where a thought process, a feeling, it's strong in us, but it's not necessarily the truth. So what I, what I mean by honor your feelings, acknowledge I feel this way, but it's wrong that I'm feeling this way. Don't act like it's not there. If you're battling with unforgiveness or jealousy or envy, just acknowledge this is a struggle for me. But just because I feel this way, that somebody's superior to me or nobody cares about me, I learn to acknowledge the feeling, but understand that that feeling doesn't have to be believed all the time. If that feeling, if that thought process is not from God, but it's from my negative experiences and negative experiences has a way of shaping our individual reality of life and we filter everything through that reality and we see everything through the pain of our lives and forget that pain can limit the way you see the world and it's a hard thing to walk around full of pain full of trauma full of a victim's type attitude and seeing the world through that and that's why you see so many people angry frustrated bitter uh, attacking other people um because their filter is, I'd much rather protect myself from being hurt or I'll hurt you before you hurt me. It's time for us to resolve those experiences. Those experiences that we, that we had, we cannot change them. But God can change how we see them. Forgiveness is a perception change. 
I can't change what happened when I was 10 or you can't change what happened when you were 11, 14, 15, however old you were when it happened, but you can learn to forgive and God can help you heal. And healing is a process and healing sometimes means that the thing is present, but it no longer controls me anymore. Some of us, I, I, I feel this, some of us are walking around with anger, frustration, mad because of something that happened and we're still mad at the world to this day. Because we've allowed a few circumstances to define the totality of our lives. The devil wants you to focus simply on your pain, to limit your whole life to the bad experiences that you had, rather than all the good things that God has done for you. So temptation can limit your perspective. Pain can limit your perspective. It's time to forgive. It's time to be able to deal with our anger, deal with our wrath, so that anger doesn't turn to resentment and that resentment doesn't turn into bitterness. And now, when everybody has a taste of me, all they taste is bitterness in me and they don't want to be around us because our anger is festering, turning to resentment and into bitterness. It's time to deal with our anger and stop defining our lives based off the few bad things that happen but start defining our lives by the goodness of God in spite of everything that has happened in our lives. God has been good to us. He will continue to be good. He will always be good. And we will, be we will believe that we will live to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Expand your horizons. Be grateful. Acknowledge the bad. Ask God to help you. Go to counseling. Go to therapy. But learn to be grateful. Practice gratitude. God bless you. Talk to you soon.